one of those where you want to extend the lead, so because you know any lucky bounce can can go their way, and then it's it's you know it's a tight game. So uh, even though you're feeling good with the way that you're playing, so obviously you want to keep extending leads, but uh, when it's one of those one of those games, you gotta you know I guess close close it defensively and, and be smart. Made a pass maybe near the right point off the rush. It went by two devils and through some traffic and mm -hmm. found its mark in the slot. Are you surprised that puck got there? I was hoping it was going to get there. That was <laughs> that was the purpose of that pass. But I mean, you never know. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, it was one of those that uh, you know. I can't say that it, it wasn't a lucky a lucky play, but uh, you know that was the intention was trying to go to. To Denton and, and and it worked out. So you know, uh, you, you're definitely hoping it does, especially uh, you know where it's at. Uh, like you said, close to the blue line like that. Calgary, Calgary uh, retired Joe McGill's number tonight. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, I've always been impressed with uh, with him uh, as a player. Before I I got to know him, uh, the way that he competes, the way that he. Um, carried himself uh, on and off the ice as a role model for, for every kid that wants to play hockey. And once I got a chance to play with him, it was, uh, it was a pleasure. You know, he's, uh, uh, he's a true gentleman and, and an amazing player, amazing leader and teammate. And uh, can't say enough about him as a player as well. So uh, his competitive level is, is second to none. And, you know, it's well-deserved for him. Back in the day when you guys could <coughs> roll four, lean on a team and become greater than the sum of your parts mm -hmm. and it would be like this force that would wear down opponents. Do you get the feeling after a few games with this, these a roster uh, add-on fortifications that, that you guys can now get, uh, play that kind of game? Well, well, I think you know, I think we have, we do have four lines that we can roll, and, and, and that's what we're doing right now. You know, every line is playing, every line is contributing, and, and, and I think that depth is uh, is wearing down on, on, on the other teams. You know, um, you know everyone's kind of <coughs> playing playing the right way and, and, and playing with the purpose, and, and every line is starting to connect and, and find some chemistry and, and, and that stability. I've talked about uh, uh, lately has been has been good. To, you know. Knowing who you're going to play against, uh, who you're going to play with, sorry, and 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 and, and establishing some, some plays on the ice, and um, that's that's been, the, I guess, the biggest part of the whole thing. I mean, the power play has been so important for your team through the, to this point in the year. It's amazing the record you guys have pulled up, being so dependent on it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like now you have to have that in order to win. Yeah, it seems like um, you know you play a team like Tampa. That's what the you know their their power play is pretty. Uh, very lethal as well, and so there's a lot of teams that are doing that. And yeah, I think it seems like the, um, uh, I, I'll go both ways. I think even the penalty kill, you know, the special teams are are really really important right now, and, and, and keys to to, to winning uh, and and sometimes a difference in games like tonight.